Hey guys, what's up? And good evening. So this is Manas and I'll be beginning with problem number four from level three and it goes like this. A room is six by five by three point five meter high. An electric bracket light is along the center of the longer wall and one meter below the ceiling. The bulb is 0.3 meter away from the wall. The switch for the light is on an adjacent wall, 1.5 meter above flow and one meter from the other longer wall. Find graphically the shortest distance between bulb and switch. My goodness, this is a very confusing problem guys and whole lot of things are there. Firstly, we have this room of dimensions having 6 by 5 by 3.5. So I've drawn, made a pictorial representation of this overall scenario and let's figure out as to how this problem can be solved. Okay, and this has to be solved on a drawing sheet. We need to find the shortest distance with the help of drawing and not mathematics. If you're going to involve mathematics in this, you're going to get yourself into big trouble, man. So let's try to draw this with the help of the concepts that we have seen in engineering drawing. And here we have the pictorial representation. So this is a room having dimension the form of 6 meter by 5 meter by 3.5 meter. Second thing we're going to discuss about is the electric bracket. Now, Guys, I'm going to read out a line once again. So an electric bracket light is along the center of the longer wall and one meter below the ceiling. So this over here, this, this and this, these are the four edges of the longer wall. And here, this is the plane of the longer wall. And somewhere along the center of the longer wall, we have an electric bracket. How much below? It is one meter below the ceiling. Fine. Now this over here is the electric bracket into which a bulb is supposed to be fixed and that bulb is going to be 0.3 meters away from the wall. Fine. So we have a bulb over here. Okay. Now the next thing to do is to find a switch for this bulb. Now I'll read a statement once again. So here is the statement. The switch for the light is on an adjacent wall. Fine. If this is the initial wall, all right, the larger wall, this is going to be an adjacent wall. Please see where I am hovering my mouse. Okay, so this is the adjacent wall. Now in this wall, we're gonna have a switch. Okay, so let's see. Let's further read the description. 1.5 meter above the flow. So we're gonna have a, a switch which is going to lie 1.5 meter above the flow. And let's see what's written down more. And one meter from the other longer wall. So this was the longer wall and this is one meter away from this longer wall. So here we have the switch and here we have the bulb. What we're supposed to do? We are supposed to find the exact or true distance between the bulb and switch. Now that can only take place with the help of engineering drawing. So let's begin. Initially, we're going to draw the front view of this room that is 6 by 3.5. So let's draw this front view 6 by 3.5. Okay, so this is the front view of the room. And let us see where this bulb and switch um, are situated in the front view. So when we look at this room from the front, it would appear that this bulb lies along the center of this wall. Okay, somewhere around the center of this wall and from the ceiling, it is below by one meter. Okay, so right now I'm going to do this. Take the center of this point and come one meter down. That's it. That's exactly. That's the exact location of the bulb and I'm going to write here. Um, simply I'm going to write B dash B dash let me lower the font size it's better to have a smaller font size you guys can do this in a drawing sheet okay let me choose four four is better that's it fine so we have the front view of bulb now we, we are going to situate the front view of the switch it is going to come somewhere here along this line let me see so when you look at this uh, switch from the front it would appear somewhere here okay at a height of how much at a height of 1.5 meter from the flow it was has already been written 1.5 meter above the flow so this is going to be 1.5 meters so let's draw this quickly so, and i'm going to draw a line 1.5 meters so any data that i say in meters will be represented by centimeters in drawing sheet. If I say one meter, it's going to be one centimeter on a drawing sheet. Similarly, if I say 1.5 meter, it's going to be 1.5 centimeter or 15 millimeters for that matter. Okay, so this over here is uh, going to be switch. And for that, we have this S dash. Fine. Now let's join B dash and S dash. 
okay since we are supposed to find the true length between bulb and switch so let us join them with the help of a line and now let's focus our attention on the top view and in the top view we are going to again see a rectangle of 6 meter by 5 meter so this is going to be 5 centimeters again here returning to from where we started now when you look at this bulb okay it seems to be extending when you look at this from the top you will see this distance okay and this distance is in fact 0 0.3 meters um, on converting it becomes 0 0.3 centimeters or 3 millimeters fine so I'm gonna go here 3 millimeters that's it so that's the precise location of the bulb when you look at it from the top so this is going to be B simply B okay. so this is 0 0.3 so guys this distance over here this small distance minute minuscule distance is 0 0.3 meter converting you get it as 0 0.3 centimeter or you can also say 3 millimeters fine now let's see where the switch uh, is situated in the top view and the switch would appear as if it is at a distance of 1 meter from somewhere here okay so I'm going to draw a line from here 1 meter So this is precisely the top view of switch fine now let's join B with this and we are going to have ourselves the top view and here we have the front view now the idea is pretty simple um, you can either rotate front view and make it parallel to XY and its corresponding top view is going to show the true length or you can also go for uh, rotating the top view and its corresponding front view is going to show you the true length okay so here I'm going to be rotating this uh, what do you call this top uh, front view and I'm going to make it parallel so let's say I'm going to rotate this by about B dash I'm going to take B dash S dash as the radius fine so let's do this quickly and for that there is a very small construction uh, please uh, watch carefully now with B dash as center and with B dash S dash as radius we'll be rotating this and we're going to make it absolutely parallel to XY line. Okay. So it is going to intersect this horizontal line somewhere here. So this over here, guys, represents the new position of point H. That is going to be H1 dash. And let us say that this uh, is here. Okay. Fine. Now, in order to have the effect of the changing, changed position of S, let's see what effect does it have on the top view okay so initially s was over here initially s dash was here and its corresponding top view was this s this point fine so s dash has changed to s1 dash and its corresponding top view s1 dashes corresponding top view is going to lie somewhere here fine and this particular point will represent simply s1 and when you join s1 with b you're going to have the true distance between the bulb and the switch okay it's very close man it's very close okay let me see how much this distance works out as so this is working out as let me do this once again this is working out as 32.39 so this is in millimeters and if you convert this into centimeters it will work out as 3.239 centimeters and if you further convert this uh, with the help of the scale um, you're going to have yourself the distance in meters that is the actual distance and it will be working out as 3.2 meters okay so the actual distance between the bulb and the switch is 3.2 meters approximately fine oh, so let us write this down so here it is distance between the bulb and switch is 32.39 millimeters that's 3.2 meters on conversion fine so guys that was all from my side and uh, if you have any doubts or queries you can write them down in the comment section below so let's meet again with a new problem until then take care bye bye have a nice day